Good morning. As some of you know, a couple years ago, my wife and I had an opportunity to, re to relocate from Ohio to South Carolina. And when I moved down there, in addition to our beautiful rainy weather, one of the benefits uh, I got was I'm allowed to say, how are y'all? <laughs> I, I think they say that around here too. And you, for some of you who aren't around here, that just means all of you. And, if you're not from the South. At any rate, I'm very, very excited to see all of you here. Most of you have been here before, and I believe Jack will ask uh, later for people who haven't been here before to stand, but we've had a lot of up and down lately. I'll just forge forward for a few minutes. First of all, <clears throat> on behalf of the elected board, which Bob just introduced, I'd like to thank the sponsors, the exhibitors, the committee members, the staff, and all the other people that were involved in not only funding, but making this conference possible. It takes an incredible amount of time, mostly volunteer, to pull something like this off. The activities of the board, which has been about nine of us who have been introduced our primary focus this year because uh, we're, the, we're the first through this process, are going to be discussed uh, somewhat at length by each of the board members at a plenary session following this session. So if you're a member or want to become a member and know more about what we've tried to do in our first six months, and what we hope to achieve in the next six months as well as the following years, I'd encourage you to come. This was the brainchild of Kerry Smith, who was introduced earlier. He'll be leading that, and you'll hear from each of the board members as well as a couple of our committee heads. So I'm not going to go into any detail about what the board's done so far, but I would really like to highlight just two or three things that I'm excited about. Opposite spot. First of all, we are the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association. This year, we have formed two new foreign chapters. We now have a chapter in Sweden. We have a chapter in South Korea. As many of you know, we already have chapters in Australia, Canada, India, and China. And believe it or not, we're in talks right now with five other countries that may be soon joining with IGSPA in this area of ground source heat pump technology. The board's very excited about the opportunities that lie ahead of us to work with foreign chapters to promote, promote ground source technology, not only here in the United States, but globally. We had a membership survey three or four months ago, and many of you responded to it. And a lot of what we learned was as we expected, given the membership we have. Two of the most important things IGSPA can do for our members revolve around training and standards. And those don't live independently of, a, of each other. As standards change, because of the new technologies that are enter entering our marketplace, some of which you'll see in our exhibit hall, training must change. IGSPA's programs have languished a little bit over the years. We were told that loud and clear. And we embarked on a mission to figure out how to change that. We're very, very fortunate that the dean associated with our organization <clears throat> spent a great deal of time Who's been, Dean Kirtley, who's been introduced to you already, spent a great deal of time working in the Fire Prevention Academy at Oklahoma State. While there, he was responsible for or participated in the development of many new training programs. Dean Kirtley shared with the board, and the board adopted a new curriculum development process, which is going to greatly ex expedite the development of new training. 
and provide us a way to keep it current. And notice I said, it's going to. I didn't say we hope to. This week, we debuted the new geothermal inspectors course. On Monday and Tuesday, 18 guinea pigs, I'm sorry, 18 students <laughs> received this training for the first time. It was the first time it's been taught when these 18 people complete the requirements of the course and take the exam. They will become the industry's first certified geothermal inspectors. Yesterday at the training meeting, the training committee approved embarking on our next course. In the next three months, six to eight of, of our best trainers will meet in Stillwater to dissect our accredited installers course and segment it in the ways we've talked about for six or seven years now. Whoever's standing up at this podium next year in Denver giving you the report of the board, uh, I fully expect that they will be telling you that we debuted another new course at that conference, perhaps more than one. Member services. Another thing our membership survey told us is that our members need a way to express their needs, to interact with each other, and to, they need a place where they can obtain information pertaining to technical issues, regulatory issues, and issues of importance to their business in their markets. We're going to debut at this conference, IGSPA Connect. How many of you out there are LinkedIn members? As I understand it, and I've yet to be able to log on because of that, I think that goes live today perhaps, but this is going to act in some ways similar to the in interest groups uh, that you find on LinkedIn, except it will be, it will be ICSPA-centered. It will be another benefit for membership and it's going to allow us uh, so many avenues to get information to you quickly, allow committees to function more efficiently. It will become a place where you, find, you will find tools that help you in your business, and the possibilities are almost endless. At this conference, as always, you have an opportunity to improve your business. We have, how many, Jack, 40 different speakers yeah. uh, in our education tracks. These are people from all over the world, from all over the industry, who, who are truly experts in their areas. Not only will you learn from the opportunity, opportunity to hear them speak and interact with them, you'll have the chance to network with some of our industry's leading professionals. As you're walking around the conference these next two days, I want you to look for people who have this black board member sticker attached to their name badge. We are your elected board. We want to talk to you. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you like about IGSPA, and we'd also like to know what needs to change. But be aware of one thing. This is, as it's been mentioned, a volunteer unpaid board, as are our committees. And if you have a need and a great interest in a particular thing happening at IGSPA, we are going to ask you to help us because we need help. We have 70, Bob said, 70 people on our committees now. That's uh, many times more than we had last year at this time. And we appreciate the way people have responded as we've put the word out about 
the committees we have and what we need. We still need more people, and we need, we need fresh eyes on what we're doing. We need, as we grow, to get more and more of you involved from a much broader spectrum. So please, as you see us walking around the conference, stop us and talk to us. We want to hear from you. As Bob said, and I'll con conclude with this, and I want you to take it to heart, for probably the first time in our history, more than ever, this organi organization is your organization. At this time, I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Most of you know him. He's been an ICSPA member for a long time, attended many of our conferences. He's the president of Entertech, and he's the current chairman of the Geothermal Exchange Organization. I'd like to introduce Steve Smith.